Welcome to episode 13 of Cartography and Geography Club. Today, we'll focus on Western Europe. For the sake of this episode, the countries we'll look at are the Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, France, and Monaco. We'll learn how to make different land representations using foam, how to make landmarks using origami, and we'll learn some interesting facts about Western Europe along the way. Also, we'll have some fun with a Disney castle building activity and finish our episode with our 13th iteration of our time travel geography game. Today, you'll need your starter pack and the foam and origami expansion pack. So let's jump in. Welcome to Cartography. I'm your host, Mark. I'd like to start by letting you know one of my favorite arcade games is Pac-Man. I like the simple controls but difficulty in the different layouts of the game board. Make sure to let me know what your favorite arcade game is and why below so I can get to know you better. Now let's get into Cartography and Geography. Do you know much about the Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, France or Monaco? The Netherlands is a country located in northwestern Europe with overseas territories in the Caribbean. It is the largest of four constituent countries of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Netherlands literally means lower countries in reference to its low elevation and flat topography, with only about 50% of its land exceeding one meter or 3.3 feet above sea level, and nearly 26% falling below sea level. With a population of 17.7 million people, all living within a total area of 41,850 square kilometers, or 16,160 square miles, the Netherlands is the 16th most densely populated country in the world and second most densely populated country in the European Union, with a density of 529 people per square kilometer or 1,370 people per square mile. Nevertheless, it is the world's second largest exporter of food and agricultural products by value, owing to its fertile soil, mild climate, intensive agriculture, and inventiveness. Belgium, officially the Kingdom of Belgium, is a country in northwestern Europe. It covers an area of 30,528 square kilometers or 11,787 square miles and has a population of more than 11.5 million, making it the 22nd most densely populated country in the world and the sixth most densely populated country in Europe, with a density of 376 per square kilometer or 970 people per square mile. Belgium's strongly globalized economy and its transport infrastructure are integrated with the rest of Europe. It's located at the heart of a highly industrialized region, helping make it the world's 15th largest trading nation in 2007. Belgium's main export are machinery, chemicals, finished diamonds, metal products, and food. With an area of 2,586 square kilometers or 998 square miles, Luxembourg is one of the smallest countries in Europe. In 2022, it had a population of 645,397 which makes it one of the least populated countries in Europe, albeit with the highest population growth rate. 
Foreigners account for nearly half of this population. Luxembourg is a developed country with an advanced economy and one of the world's highest GDP per capita. The industrial sector, dominated by steel until the 1960s, has since diversified in, to include chemicals, rubber, and other products. During recent de decades, growth in the financial sector has more than compensated for the decline in steel production. Services, especially banking and finance, account for the majority of the economic output. France, or the French Republic, is a transcontinental country predominantly located in Western Europe and spanning overseas regions and territories in the Americas, the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Its 18 integral regions, five of which are overseas, span a combined area of 643,801 square kilometers or 248,573 square miles and close to 68 million people. Due to its numerous overseas departments and territories scattered across the planet, France possesses the second largest exclusive economic zone in the world, covering 11,035,000 square kilometers, or 4,261,000 square miles, just behind the exclusive economic zone of the United States, which covers 11,351,000 square kilometers, or 4,383,000 square miles, but ahead of the economic zone of Australia. Its economic zone covers approximately 8% of the total surface of all of the economic zones of the world. France has a developed, high-income, mixed economy characterized by sizable government involvement economic diversity, a skilled labor force, and high innovation. For roughly two centuries, the French economy has consistently ranked among the 10 largest globally. It is currently the world's ninth largest by purchasing power parity and seventh largest by nominal GDP, and the second largest in the European Union by both metrics. Monaco is a sovereign city-state and microstate on the French Riviera with an area of 2.1 square kilometers or 0.81 square miles. It is the second smallest sovereign state in the world after Vatican City. It's 19,000 inhabitants per square kilometer or 49,000 people per square mile make it the most densely populated sovereign state in the world. Monaco has a land border of 5.47 kilometers or 3.4 miles and is the world's shortest coastline of approximately 3.83 kilometers or 2.38 miles. The principality is home to 38,682 residents, of whom 9,486 are Monaco nationals. It is widely recognized as one of the most expensive and wealthiest places in the world. For our first activity today, I would like you to recreate Western Europe using foam. First, draw Western Europe on a piece of paper. Then, color in the Western Europe countries you just drew, then cut out the paper. Use the cutouts to outline the Western Europe countries onto foam, then cut that out. 
Once you have finished recreating on the foam, put the foam and paper cutouts to the side to use later. Here is how I would do it. Now let's cover some of Western Europe's notable features. The Loire River is the longest river in France and the 171st longest in the world, with a length of 1,006 kilometers or 625 miles. It drains 117,054 square kilometers or 45,195 square miles. It is originally a mere trickle of water located at 1,408 meters or 4,619 feet above sea level. Stack a separate piece of paper on top of your Western Europe map, then put it on your light up board. Add the river to the separate piece of paper, making sure to draw it thick enough so that you can easily make it into a foam cutout. Once complete, cut out the river from the paper and outline it on your foam. Cut out the foam and put it aside for later. Here is how I would do it. Mont Blanc is the highest mountain in the Alps in Western Europe, rising 4,807.81 meters or 15,774 feet above sea level. It is the second most prominent mountain in Europe after Mount Elbrus and it is the 11th most prominent mountain summit in the world. Use the same technique used for making the river for Mount Blanc. Here is how I would do it. Make sure to cut out the foam mountain and put it aside to be used for later. Lake Isselmar is a closed off inland bay in the center of the Netherlands. It covers an area of 1,100 square kilometers or 420 square miles with an average depth of 5.5 meters or 18 feet. Due to considerable amount of water from the Rhine Flowing through the Islar River, the closed off bay functions as a large freshwater reservoir, serving as a source for agriculture and drinking water. Use the same technique used for making the river and the mountain for the lake. Here is how I would do it. Make sure to put the bay aside to be used later. The Paintmont Forest is a temperate forest located around the village of Paintmont in Brittany, France. Covering an area of 9,000 hectares, it includes the castle Chateau de Comper and Chateau de Tresson, as well as the national historical sites of Forges of Paintmont. It has been associated with the forest of Brochon Lane and many locations from Arthurian legend, including the Val Sands Retor, the Tomb of Merlin, and the Fountain of Barrington. Use the same techniques used for making the river for the forest. Here is how I would do it.
make sure to put the force aside to be used later. The Dune of Palat is the tallest sand dune in Europe. It is located in France, 60 kilometers or 37.2 miles southwest of Bordeaux. The dune has a volume of 60 million cubic meters, measuring around 500 meters wide from east to west and 2.7 kilometers in length from north to south. Its height was 106.6 meters above sea level as of 2018. Use the same technique used for making the river for the dune. Here is how I would do it. Make sure to put the foam dune aside to be used later. The high fens are a upland plateau region in the east of Belgium and adjoining parts of Germany. The high fens are the largest nature reserve or park in Belgium with an area of 4,501 hectares or 11,123 acres. The reserve is a re rich ecological endowment of Belgium covered with raised bogs both on the plateau and in the valley basin. The bogs, which are over 10,000 years old, have unique subalpine flora, fauna, and microclimate. These features are key to the conservation work of the park. Use the same technique used for making the river for the bogs. Here is how I would do it. Now that you have all the foam parts of the map, connect them together. Here is how I would do it. Once you are complete, take a picture of your map and send it to me so we can post it to our notification section. Now let's look at some landmarks of Western Europe. The Eiffel Tower and Kinderjik are two great ones. The Eiffel Tower is a wrought iron lattice tower on the Champ de Mars in Paris, France. It is named after the engineer Gustave Eiffel, whose company designed and built the tower. It was constructed from 1887 to 1889 as the centerpiece of the 1889 World's Fair. Although initially criticized by some of France's leading artists and intellectuals for its design, it has since become a global cultural icon of France and one of the most recognizable structures in the world. The Eiffel Tower is the most visited monument with an entrance fee in the world. 6.91 million people ascended it in 2015. The tower is 330 meters or 1,083 feet tall, about the same height as an 81-story building, and the tallest structure in Paris. Its base is square, measuring 125 meters or 410 feet on each side. During its construction, the Eiffel Tower surpassed the Washington Monument to become the tallest human-made structure in the world, a title it held for 41 years until the Chrysler Building in New York City was finished in 1930. The windmills at Kinderjik are a group of 19 monumental windmills in the province of South Holland, Netherlands. Built in 1738 to keep water out of the polder, it is the largest concentration of old windmills in the Netherlands and one of the best known Dutch tourist sites. The stone mills are listed as national monuments and the entire area is a protected village view since 1993. 
For the next activity, we are going to make both the Eiffel Tower and one of the Kinderjik stone mills out of origami. Here are the directions for the Eiffel Tower. And here is how I would make it. Now that you've completed that, here are the directions for the windmill. And here is how I would make that one. Now let's look at smaller scale maps. French architecture consists of numerous architectural styles that either originated in France or elsewhere and were developed within the territories of France. Two of the better known are Normandy and Provincial. In Normandy and the lower valley of France, farm silos were often attached to the main living quarters instead of a separate barn. After World War I, Americans romanticized the traditional French farmhouse creating a style known as French Normandy. Sided with stone stucco or brick, these homes may suggest the Tudor styles with decorative half timbering the French Normandy style is distinguished by a round stone tower topped by a cone-shaped roof. The tower is usually placed near the center, serving as the entrance to the home. As for French Provincial, one of the most distinctive characteristics of many of these buildings is the tall second-story windows, often arced at the top that break through the rise above the eaves. This unusual window design is especially noti noticeable on America's examples of French provincial architecture. Modeled after country manors in the French provinces, these brick or stucco homes are stately and formal. They have steep hipped roofs and a square symmetrical shape with windows balanced on each side of the entrance. The tall second story windows add to the sense of height. For our next activity, on a separate piece of paper, draw a building using elements of both Normandy and provincial architecture styles. Here is how I would do it. Once you are complete, Take a picture of your building and send it to me so we can feature it on our announcement section.
Two of the most interesting cities in Western Europe are Amsterdam and Luxembourg. Amsterdam is the capital and most populous city of the Netherlands, with a population of 907,976 within the city proper, and 1,558,755 in the urban areas, and 2,480,394 in the entire metropolitan area. Found within the Dutch province of North Holland, Amsterdam is colloquially referred to as the Venice of the North. This is due to the large number of canals which form a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Amsterdam was founded at the Amstel that was dammed to control flooding. The city's name derived from the Amstel Dam. Originated as a small fishing village in the late 12th century, Amsterdam became one of the most important ports in the world during the Dutch Golden Age of the 17th century and became the leading center for finance and trade sectors. In the 19th and 20th centuries, the city expanded and many new neighborhoods and suburbs were planned and built. Luxembourg is the capital of the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg and the country's most populous commune. Standing at the confluence of the Alzette and Perus rivers in southern Luxembourg, the city lies at the heart of Western Europe. As of 2021, Luxembourg City has a population of 128,514 inhabitants, which is more than three times the population of the country's second most populous commune. The city's population consists of 160 nationalities. In 2022, Luxembourg was ranked as having the first highest per capita GDP in the world at 138,950 per person, with the city having developed into a banking and administrative center. In the 2019 Mercer Worldwide Survey of 231 cities, Luxembourg was placed first for personal safety, while it was ranked 18th for the quality of living. A surprising amount of Disney movies are set in France. These include Beauty and the Beast, The Aristocats, Ratatouille, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty. All of these leverage the rich architecture and setting elements of France. For this activity, we are going to build a highly defensive castle to protect against a Disney dragon attack. Make sure to identify any unique features to protect the castle. The more humorous, the better. Here is how I would do it. The final thing we'll be doing today is the 13th installment of a game we'll be completing through the year. It is the near future and you are a detective for a time travel company. A group of criminals called the Agent are going back in time to change the past. It is your responsibility to determine when, where, and what they are going to steal based on the clues sent to us. Today's clues are painting of a woman created by Leonardo da Vinci, where it currently is hanging, and the year it was moved to its current location. Send your answers in with your name for Season 1 points to be posted to our notification section. That's all for Episode 13 of Cartography and Geography Club. I hope you had fun, and I look forward to next week's episode where we will continue our European classes by looking at Central Europe. Have a great week!